The next descheduling algorithm that we are going to discuss is SSTF or shortest seek time first. This algorithm always chooses the pending request which is closest to the current head position. In other words, it selects the request which has minimum seek time or the shortest seek time from the current position or which require minimum number of cylinders to be crossed. Consider our example in which the disk consists of 200 cylinders named cylinder 0 to cylinder 199 and the read write head is currently on cylinder number 53 accessing some data on cylinder number 53 and this is the queue of requests to be served. Hence these are the cylinders corresponding to these requests in their order on the disk. And we are using the SSTF algorithm. The read write head is currently on cylinder number 53. Thus from this current position, find the cylinder which has minimum seek time from it. Here the cylinder number 65 and cylinder number 37 are closest to the cylinder 53. And from 53 to 65 require 11 cylinders to be crossed. Sorry, 12 cylinders to be crossed. And from 53 to 37, it is 53 minus 37, 16 cylinders have to be crossed. Hence, cylinder 65 is closest one to cylinder 53. Hence, from cylinder number 53, the head moves to cylinder 65 to service the request on the cylinder number 65. And the next closest request to cylinder 65 is 67. From there the closest one is among 98 and 37. The closest cylinder to 67 is 37 and from 37 to 14. From the remaining request the closest one to 14 is 98 and from 98 to 122, 122 to 124 then to 183. 183 is the last request among the skew of requests. Hence, in order to service all these requests in the queue, total how many cylinders have to be crossed? The head moves from cylinder 53 to 65, then to 67. Hence, in this direction, it has crossed 67 minus 53 cylinders. And from 67 to 14, 67 minus 14 cylinders and then from 14 to 183, 183 minus 14 total 236 cylinders have to be crossed and the seek time is proportional to the number of cylinders that have to be crossed. We can see compared to first come first serve. The number of cylinders to be crossed is much less in this example and there is such improvement in performance. But the main problem here is starvation. There is chance that some requests may starve. Suppose in this example, while the requests on these inner cylinders are being served, suppose new requests keep on arriving in the queue which are also closest to these inner cylinders. Then the system keep on servicing those requests on the inner region while the requests on the outer cylinder starve. Also, while the system keep on servicing the requests over a small region, there is chance for a lot of direction change by the rewrite head. Hence, starvation is one of the major problems that SSTF suffers from. Also, even though this algorithm shows much better performance compared to SCFS, it doesn't mean it provides the optimal solution. Again, this algorithm includes an overhead of calculation of the shorter seek time request from the set of IO requests at a time. Hence, the implementation is not that simple.